Hey everybody, Lady B here. These are the last of the apples that I had to do. Uh, I'm sitting here peeling some now. I've got some over there in a crock pot. But in line, after I get these done, then I have these to do. Walk around the table and show you. I went down to the farmer's market today. These are ripe and overripe peaches. And I'm going to be making something, and I will make a video about it, but right now I am working on getting a video done of what I'm doing with the last of the apples. And I will show you later on what I got from all these. So we'll be back in just a little bit. Y'all hang in there. Okay, I've got all the apples peeled. Every last apple that I had left. This one is my slow cooker. And it is piled just about as full as I can get it. Whoops, I just dropped a piece. And I've also got this big bowl full. I will put those in the refrigerator. It's in Freak Fresh. I'm going to put those in the refrigerator and I'm going to run out for just a few minutes well not a few minutes maybe half hour uh, i'm going to run out to john's and give pork chop and his other critters the apple scraps that way it won't go to waste so i'm going to call him first and see if it's okay because it's almost dinner time and i wouldn't want to show up at dinner time so we'll be back Okay, now this is the next morning. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a little bit hoarse. Uh, this is the next morning. I set the timer on this crock pot for four hours. And it kept it warm all night. I just turned the uh, controls on to cook another hour. And I'm going to keep the lid off and let it thicken up some. And this over here, I had it cooking all night but on very very low so it's going to have to get a little bit more thick than that and I'll leave the lid off and let it cook but I'll be back in a little bit okay <clears throat> I almost forgot one important step I hope you can see I've got it a tripod <laughs> mounted crazy but uh had all my spoons here that I went to. will taste test. I've got the dirty ones in the sink. But I almost forgot. I was tasting to see if I needed to add any more sugar to this. I probably got about maybe a cup in there. But I almost forgot to add this. This is pureed strawberries. And I am making strawberry applesauce and this you do according to taste all I did was um, take the strawberries mash them up I mashed them up in the Ziploc bag and then put them in the food processor got them all pureed up really nice and good and just put it in here and according to whatever taste you like try it for yourself it is absolutely delicious the kids loved it of course that's when I had to buy it because I didn't have any but this way there is no preservatives or chemicals or anything in it so and the color is just beautiful I think I'll put a little bit more in there Okay, let me get one of my spoons. Mm mm mm, that is so good. Oops, made a mess. And that's why I keep paper towels hanging handy. I'm going to 
gonna add the rest of this to this over here. Let's just squeeze every last little bit out of it that I can. probably be enough over here. So I'm going to let this cook down and now it's going to have to cook down even more because I added the other liquid to it. But we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I apologize for the lighting. It is now after dark and I'm going to fill this. I put them both in the same container and cooked them down. But this is what I've got and it's about as thick as I like it. But I got a call and I went out to John and Mary's house. Uh, Gloria was out there. That's uh, moving on 04. And I visited him with them for a little while. Because my grandchildren are in Florida. And I was feeling real stressed out about that. So they wanted me to come out and spend some time with them to get my mind off of it. Whoops. Boy, am I making a mess. But anyhow, I'm going to, and I think I've got too much in that one. That's what I get for getting in a hurry, huh? Oh, and i got to get me another paper towel. I drop stuff on that one. I'm going to process this for 15 minutes in my water bath canner. And you can probably hear it boiling. Got my vinegar water right there. Clean off the rim. I'm sure you all saw me twirl that around. <laughs> I have to have my labels even. But anyhow, I'm going to put these in the canner and we'll be back when I get them all done. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> and like I said, I am sorry about the lighting. It is dark outside. Uh, this is what I got. I'm trying to stand back so you can see it all. But I got 10 pints of the strawberry applesauce. And over here, I had a little bit of the strawberry puree left. So I would just went ahead and canned it too. Because there was plenty in this. So if y'all like this, give it a try. And if you have any questions, just send me a PM and I'll get back with you. And see how pretty that is. Beautiful color. And it is delicious. Try take my word for it. I could eat a whole bowl full of it. As a matter of fact, I had some left. And I thought about just putting it in a bowl. Oh, there goes the pain. And uh, it was enough to fill a pint jar. So I just said heck with it and just went ahead and canned it. Because I guess I'll have them forever. So Well, not maybe not forever, but have them for a while. But anyhow, this is the end of the video. I'm going to get off here. I have got uh, Debbie from Partially Off Grid and Homesteading Channel on Facebook and we're chatting and I told her, I said I had to get off here for a minute. So she's waiting for me so I'm going to go talk to her for a little bit and we'll talk to you later. Thank you all very much for watching and you all stay safe out there and say prayers for Texas and now for her uh, Florida pray for my grandbabies down there because I have no idea where they are, whether they're safe. But I did find out that they stayed in Florida. They did not evacuate. They did not go to a shelter. So I'm just hoping, praying 
that they're 